good morning grade 4 welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class so you have already started the chapter time today let's learn about the 12 hour clock system and 24 hour clock system so we know there are 24 hours in a day so a day starts at 12 in the midnight of one day then it reaches 12 in the noon and then again it reaches to 12 in the midnight of the next day so there are 24 hours in between so what you see here is a 12 hour clock in a 12 hour clock the 24 hours in a day is divided into two equal time zones of 12 hours each so you can see the numbers from 1 to 12 written on a 12 hour clock so the time from 12 in the midnight to 12 in the noon or 12 in the midday that is called anti meridian and it is denoted by am it means before midday and from 12 in the midday or 12 in the noon to 12 in the midnight that is called post meridian or pm and it means it is after midday so now you understand what is am and pm so from 12 in the early morning or 12 in the midnight to 12 in the moon we say it is am and from 12 in the noon to 12 in the midnight we say it is pm so here you can see a 12 hour clock and we know in the 12 hour clock the numbers are represented from 1 to 12 so here what is the time can you read the time the hour hand is between 12 and 1 and hence the hour is 12 and the minute hand is pointing to the fourth division after 8. So what is the time? The time here is 12.44. So what if it is 12.44 in the early morning? We say it is 12.44 am. What if it is 12.44 in the afternoon? We say it is 12.44 pm. So till 12 in the noon, we say it is am. But after 12 in the noon, we say it is pm. So this is the 12 hour clock system that we usually follow in our day to day life. But there is also a 24 hour clock system which is used mostly by airways, railways and the military. So in a 24 hour clock system, after 12 in the noon, the hours are counted as 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on till 24. So you can see the numbers from 1 to 24 on a 12 hour clock. So how do you represent time on a 24 hour clock system? In a 12 hour clock system, 12 in the midnight is represented as 12 am. Whereas in a 24 hour clock system, 12 in the midnight is represented as 0, 0, 0, 0 hours. You have to use the word hours to represent time on a 24 hour clock system. So what if it is 1 o'clock in the early morning? You will write it as 0, 1 hours. Now what if the time is 12 in the noon? On a 12 hour clock system, we would say 12 pm which means 12 in the noon but on a 24 hour clock system 12 in the noon is represented as 12 hours so you start counting the hours from 0 0 0 0 hours so 0 0 0 0 hours means 12 in the midnight whereas 12 hours means 12 in the noon so after 12 past 12 in the noon we count the hours as 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on till 24. So how would you represent 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a 24 o'clock system? It will be represented as 13, 0, 0 hours. Now what if it is 1.30 in the afternoon? We will write 13, 30 hours. So this part will represent the hours whereas this part will represent the minutes. So if it is 1.30 on a 24 hour clock you say that is 13.30 hours. What if the time is 4.30 in the evening? We say it is 
16 30 hours so 4 o'clock in the evening is represented as 16 hours on a 24 hour clock system so just keep in mind that on a 24 hour clock system the hours after 12 in the noon are counted as 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and so on till 24 so the beginning of a day will be written as 0000, 0, 0, 0 hours whereas the ending of a day will be written as 24 0, 0 hours now children will do one activity all of you please turn to page number 155 you can see exercise 11.2 in the page you have to complete question number 1 and question number 3 from exercise 11.2 so in question number 1 you are asked to fill in the blanks with am or pm let's say the first question Meghna goes to school at 8.30 is it am or pm so Meghna will be going to school in the morning so it should be Meghna goes to school at 8.30 am and goes to sleep at 8.30 pm the next one Navin eats his breakfast at 7.45 is it am or pm we eat breakfast in the morning so it should be 7.45 am and eats his dinner at 7.45 is it am or pm we eat dinner in the night so it should be 7.45 pm the rest two questions you can write yourself now the third question in page number 156 write the time in 24 hour clock in the blanks so the first question i go out for a walk at 6 30 a.m or dash every day so you have to fill in the blank there by writing the equivalent of 6 30 a.m as per the 24 hour clock system so 6 30 a.m means the timing is given in 12 hour clock system 6 30 a.m means it is 6 30 in the morning so how do you represent the time in 24 hour clock system so in 24 hour clock system you start counting from 0 0 0 0 hours so 6 30 in the morning means it is 0 6 30 hours so i go out for a walk at 6 30 am or 6 30 hours now the next one Akshay comes back from office at 6.30 p.m. or dash every day. So here time is given as 6.30 p.m. which means it's 6.30 in the evening. So we know the 24 hour clock system after 12 in the noon we count the hours as 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on. So what is 6.30 in the evening on the 24 hour clock system? It will be equal to this 12 12 in the noon plus 6 hours 30 minutes so it will be 18 30 hours so just add the given time to 12 hours and you'll get the equivalent time in 24 hour clock system the rest of the questions you have to work out yourself now children you have to go through these topics once again through pages 154 to 156 and you have to complete the question number 2 also from exercise 11.2. So I hope all the concepts we learned today are clear to you. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.